Hello, my name is Rob Murphy and I'm going to be taking you through a uh, typical DCP creation using Cube Master Express. So, firstly, for our video files we can use any AVI movie file or WMV. We can also create uh, sequences using JPEGs or bitmaps. So, what I'm going to do first is um, go through a JPEG. So you can see here we've got our Cube Master Express open. We've got our um, authorization dongle plugged into the machine that we're running off and that will stop us from getting a Cube Master watermark bouncing all over the screen when we're finished. So that must be in place. So um, let's, uh, we've got a couple of, uh, we've got a little movie here and a, um, a JPEG. So let's start with that. So you just simply pick up the file that you're going to use dump it on the top there. Firstly, um, you can see up at the top here we have a 185 aspect ratio and a scope. And you can see it changes when I flick between them. So let's stay on the 185 for, for the moment. Now uh, we'll look at cropping when I get to the movie file I think, but so in here you can see there's a representation of what we're looking at there, that's our file. So let's say we want it to run for 5 seconds. And let's say we want to have more than one still there. So we'll pick up another one. We'll drop it on there. It appears next to it. So on and so forth. So each of those files will now hold for five seconds. I've just put that in there. And let's say we're going to dissolve between the two of them. And we're going to make this, the transition time of that dissolve to be two seconds. Now, also here we have an option for adding sound. So if we have a sound file sitting elsewhere, and AI, double F, a WAV file, whatever, we can flick the sound button there, and then we can choose where that file might exist. But we don't have one right now, so I'm going to just turn that off. So it's just going to be a silent sequence. Right, so now that's all loaded up, I'm going to show you the rest of the process using the movie file. So let's go back to the first step again. Our open window, so let's pick up our little MOV movie here. Drop that on the front. Right, so now here we, here we have our 185, our aspect ratios again. So let's start with, this is obviously a scope shaped movie. But it can be any shape and we can change the um, cropping and the size of the image in these windows here. So let's take we can scroll up and down the movie here to get a better frame to work with. There's one now, so let's say, okay, we're gonna, that's gonna crop the top using these little scissor sliders here. So I'm going to blow that up, crop the sides off, and make it fit a 185 frame perfectly. And there we go, okay, so that's where 185, let's have a look at the scope one. Fits perfectly, as I said, because it's a scope shaped movie. Now on the side here we just need to make sure that sound is selected. That's going to use the sound that belongs to the file. So there's this little settings tab down the bottom here. We'll just go in there quickly and have a look. But um, in most situations you won't need to touch anything in here. Yes, we have to be on progressive scan. And these settings are here are for color space adjustment. But like I said, it's very rare that you'll need to go in there. So we'll leave that alone. Right, okay, so now we've set up our cropping on both frames. Let's move ahead. So now this window, so we're working with uh, this one here, this is the last window. So we're going to call that, firstly put the name up the top here. So it's the sun opener, I usually put things in caps and put an underscore between them. There we go, that's all you need to put in that top section. Now I move down to the type, you can see here we can choose a feature, policy, short, this simply manages the way that um, QMaster Express will handle the rest of the information that your server will need to identify it. So this is going to be, let's make this a short film. So choose short, the country that we're working in, which is Australia. The language is English, of course, we don't really need to touch that. Now if we're working with a stereo mixed file, you can check this box here to put silence across the rest of your tracks. So down the bottom here now, we've um, because we've lined up to make both a flat and a scope version, we can uncheck either of these just to make one or the other. We've got both selected. So you can see here, we've got the name, sun opener, the designation is short, it's flat, 
and then the rest of the information that we need there 2k for your server to understand what it is so now we need to create a folder to put because the DCP is made up of more than one file we need to put it in a folder so we can contain it so we'll just go off to the side here we'll make a new folder and we'll call it the same thing now this folder is how you will see the DCP sitting on your media storage unit or wherever you decide to hold it the cinema server that you're using will show the DCP as this designation down the bottom here but um, to put it in a folder and put the folder on the server where an operator can see it you need to call it something that gives you just the information that you need to know so we're giving it the name sun opener I'm putting underscores between everything again and we're putting the type of designation so it's SHR it's a short another underscore and because I'm putting both the flat and scope version in the same folder I'm going to put F slash S flat and scope so as I said that's just some that's just the folder so that the operator can see what's in the folder but the server unit itself will see it as this name down here okay so we've named our folder now let's go and point cubemaster at that folder so we click on this button here and there it is sun opener short flat and scope so I click on that the name destination is down here and we're ready to go we hit begin our little progress indicator will appear down the bottom here and a time little green lines moving when the progress bar is finished a window will appear to say that the DCP is complete so there you have it Cubemaster Express mm -hmm.